I'm speaking to the people who want more. The people who want to be the fucking pinnacle. The people who want to be accomplished. The people who want to make a fucking difference. You guys are going to have to go all the fuck in. Make a 100% commitment to give the best effort you've ever given to outwork, out improve, out strategize, outlast like never before. You can't be motivated anymore. You don't need others to motivate you. You have to be self motivated. You can't listen to your mom. You can't listen to your dad. You can't listen to your friends. You can't listen to the fucking internet. You can't stick your fucking toe in the pool and say, oh, you know, I don't know. This kind of feels weird. No. You have to dedicate every fucking breath, every fucking ounce of energy, and every fucking thought and effort that you possibly have in your heart to becoming what it is you want to be. If you really want to make an impact, you're going to get a lot of judgment. You're going to get a lot of hate. People are going to just diss on you. People are going to say, who do you think you are? If no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. I actually appreciate my haters. My haters keep me grinding. I tell them all the time, if you want to pay attention to success, watch me. A lion never negotiates with a hyena. He ain't waking up in the morning and saying, I'm going to go hang out with some hyenas. He ain't going to the same clubs where he know the hyenas don't like him anyway because he don't concern himself with the conversations of hyenas. An eagle flies at a certain altitude and the only other bird flies at that altitude is another eagle. So if he find himself flocking with pigeons, he may be flying too low. See, sometimes we asking ourselves, why my friends treat me like this? You hanging out with pigeons. Why are they talking about me like this? Man, you hanging out with pigeons. The eagles ain't got time to gossip. Kings don't gossip. Fools party, kings celebrate. You got to come out your comfort zone because your comfort zone is the deadliest place you will ever be. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. Your ability to go all in, and when I say all in, I mean all the f in. Every moment, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every fucking year, for as long as it fucking takes for you to get where you're going, you should be consumed with that path. If you want to show me you want to win that bad, pack your calendar. You pack your calendar, that's how you show the world that you want to win because everything is based off of activity. It's very hard when you go up against somebody that shows up every flipping day where you sit there and say, take the damn week off, go on vacation. Why don't you slow down for a day or a month or two months or three months? Please let me catch up. Because hungry people, they're just more urgent than everybody else. If I need to learn a skill set today, I'm going to go buy the course today. I'm going to get better at it today. Not tomorrow, not this afternoon, not later on tonight, today. What you do at night matters. What you do in the morning matters. What you do when your friends are out drinking matters. What you do on Saturday matters. What you do on Sunday matters. The success clock doesn't give a fuck what day it is. It's going to run no matter what. And you guys pretend like you can work seven, eight, ten hours a day and then spend the rest of your time and off and you think you're going to be somewhere and you're not and you're surrounded by people who enable this thought process your good friends your family people who have accepted mediocrity as a life oh you don't need to work on weekends why do you work so hard at night why do you get up so early and do that why do you train so hard why are you reading all these books when we're out drinking beer when you're obsessed they're like why are you going to be so crazy why can't you be satisfied why do you always get things so perfect why do you spend so much time there when you're obsessed people think you're nuts anybody ever tell you hey look just be satisfied with what you got no don't believe them. Get them away from me. You should never be satisfied with what you got. You should double your business. Triple it. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. Easy never pays well. So if you're thinking that it's just going to be a walk in the park, you're dead fucking wrong. You have to give it every fucking bit of effort and energy you have to pull it off. And you have to work harder than everyone else. Work while they sleep. Learn while they party. Save while they spend. And live like they dream. Many of you will not be successful because you've got this giant goal and no steps to go with it. You're just in your mind like, this is my year. How many steps? I don't know. What is it going to take for you to do it? I don't know. I just know this is my year. Can I be real with you? If you can't measure it, it ain't real. 
I had to give something up to go up. What do you give up? Do you not watch TV? That's your problem. You getting to watch TV and not make money and still survive. What do you sacrifice? The reason why you broke is because you getting a reward and you ain't working. Having esteem for yourself only occurs when you put yourself on the line and you do something that's incredibly difficult on a regular basis. That's where pride comes from, something that's earned. So there are people who want stuff, but you kind of want it. I get sick and tired of people telling me how bad they want it, yet their actions don't back up that statement. Obsession is wanting something so bad that I go to bed with, I wake up to it, I make whatever sacrifice, I grind, I can't live without it. If you gonna get anything, you will have to pay the price. There is a price tag to greatness. You will have to work for every single thing you get. And you gotta work every single day. You got to wake up every day and work. Everybody wants to wait and put off the things they truly want in their lives for tomorrow, the mystical place where 99% of dreams go to die. The only time you have is right now. And if you're not obsessed every single second of every single day with achieving your goals, you're never going to achieve them. It takes dedication. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes obsessive, compulsive, ridiculous amounts of effort. You better dedicate every second of every day, of every week, of every month, of every year for a lot of years in a row if you ever want to get these kind of goals. Don't be somebody who talks Be somebody who does The only thing you do for success, there's no discounts. It's sweat, it's blood, it's tears. You can't get 50% off. It's sweat, it's blood, it's tears. There are no shortcuts to success. Stop thinking they are. And stop wanting people to put you somewhere that you didn't earn. I dare you try to shortcut success. It's not going to happen. You can't go around it. You can't go under it. You can't go over it. The only way you can get to it is through it. Hold yourself responsible for a higher standard than anybody else expects specs of you. Never excuse yourself. Don't fool yourself into thinking that this year is going to be better than last year if you're still making excuses. There are no excuses. You cannot cheat success. You got to work for it. You got to breathe it. You got to sleep it. You got to eat it. You got to put forth 120%. When you go out there, I need you to have that dog. When you get out there, I need you to kill or be killed when you get out there. When you get out there, whatever you can get, go get it. Because they're going to get it before you get it. And they ain't going to give it to you. So you go out there it was yours because there's somebody out there who wants your spot you're not the only one trying to go to Yale you're not the only one trying to go to Harvard you're not the only one trying to go to the NBA you're not the only one trying to go to the NFL and so you got to embody excellence it only take one extra push-up it only take one extra mile it only take one extra grade it only takes one extra effort it only takes one extra something to get you to where you're trying to get to a new outfit doesn't make you a new person and if you think you you are magically going to be a new person. I hate to be the bearer of bad news because new life comes from a new mind and a new way of looking at your life. Keep your dreams phenomenal. Keep your vision phenomenal. And now I need you to get your weight up. I need you to get your schedule up. I need you to get your life up. I need you to get your action up. I need you to get to a place that every single thing that you do is phenomenal so that the life you want to live you can actually live that life. You might have more talent than me. You might be smarter than me. But I will not be outworked. Period. It's such a simple, basic concept. It's the guy who is willing to hustle the most is gonna be the guy that just gets that loose ball. There's only one thing you cannot purchase. There's only one thing you cannot buy, and that's what real beef do. That's something you're gonna have to do. You gotta put more energy, and you gotta put more effort in your stuff than anybody. So you getting up at four, and it ain't working. Get up at 3.30. So you read the book once, and you didn't get it. Read it twice, read it three times. If a person leaves at six, you leave at eight. If a person makes 100 calls a day, you make 200 calls a day. If somebody practices three hours, you practice five hours. If somebody practices six hours, you practice eight hours. If someone reads two books, you read four books. Just do a little bit more. Because there's somebody out there who wants your spot. And so you got to embody excellence. There's one thing to be hungry. It's another thing when you're starving. You're starving for greatness and starving for success. 
you start training, train like it's your life, not a game, like it's your life. Like this is the last opportunity, the only opportunity. See, a guy like me, I knew someone was better than me. There's more talented people than me, probably more talented than you. But you might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. You aren't gonna outwork me over three years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn fossil. I just keep coming at you. You might think I'm knocked out, I just keep coming. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half-ass half their life all the time. I knew they were going to get tired, they were going to flinch, they were going to get down. They quit improving themselves, they start sleeping in, they spend all their damn money. I'm not going to do that stuff, I'm going to save money, I'm going to get up early, I'm going to keep getting wide, I'm going to stay relentless. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you, it's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grind is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grind is what happens when the lights come on. You think grind is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you. When nobody knows what you're doing. When you're studying without coach. When you're putting in those extra reps. When you're watching those videos and you're getting inspired, when you change your music, it's the process that makes you sweet. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And if you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, you got to be it, not talk about it. It has to consume you. It has to take over you, that when I see you without even knowing you, I ought to be able to look at you and from your ethos, I ought to see you are the best of the best. I ought to know what you're doing without you saying one word, it ought to illuminate from you. No alarm clock needed, my passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and act, whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? Is it just a game? Or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? Have you possessed the game? And what will separate those of you from the rest is what you do.